Raise your hand if you snag the new Gymshark Animal or Gymshark Fleck. Gymsharks adapt family yet again, grown a little bit more, more and more by the day. My deepest apologies for getting this video up after the launch, but I did receive these pieces literally the night before they launched at 11 a.m. EST. So as you can imagine, I was racking my brain like, what the hell do I do? <laughs> do I film overnight? I won't be myself though. I'm in bed by 8 p.m. So that, I can't do that. So I wanted to be fresh for you guys. So it is the day of the launch right now in the morning time. And I'm here reviewing them for you. <laughs> Better late than never, okay? Out of all the Gymshark ranges far and wide, it goes without say that the Adapt family is in fact my favorite. So you're looking at the Camo, okay, number one for me, the Ombre, the Animal, and if you guys remember, Gymshark also had the Adapt Marl. You're probably wondering like, what happened to that? Well, you're looking at it. This used to be the Marl and now it transformed into a beautiful fleck. So what are we looking at right here with this new animal print? We have had shark print. I remember that was the first one that, remember that, yeah? Zebra, cheetah, butterfly, and now we have none other than a snake meets zebra hybrid. Did they, they mated and they had a baby, a snake and a zebra, a snebra. So the colors we're looking at in the new animal will be this beautiful court blue. You guys remember this blue? Staple black and I'm wearing the yellow. Hello, I just got back from the gym by the way. I spruced myself up to make it look like I didn't just come out of a sweaty dungeon, but I wore this to the gym. I'll insert a picture there and I felt like a fucking firefly. All right, I felt good. I was dancing on the dance floor. I was feeling myself in this set because hello, it's spring and I look like an Easter egg. How can you not be happy and feel it? What's really cool is they actually added in a new piece to the animal collection. And this is a cropped zipped vest. No bra pads or support whatsoever, but really cool if you wanna add in a little accessory piece over any sports bra. So you could have a solid piece underneath if you don't really care for the animal sports bra. And then this is just so stinking cute. It's long enough to even wear with jeans as like a, a crop top out and about. How about it? Would you? I would. We also have the staple animal leggings with the scrunch bump and the staple sports bra. If you guys remember the butterfly launch, that animal, it's the same exact concept. There are no crisscross bras being launched in this collection. You do have the biker shorts, just like the butterfly did with the scrunch bump. So it basically went off of that launch. I'm not gonna play favorites in this launch here, except Fleck is my favorite. Oops. So we got, damn, they, they nailed it with these colors, by the way, right? Animal's pretty cool, but this is even better. We got this salmony pink with flecky tones of like this chocolate cherry color. Then my favorite, I think, is this coconut white color. If you look closely, you can see light tan flecks. And last but not least, we got a stunning teal color. All right, I think it's alpine green now that I'm thinking about it on the website, but I'm gonna call it just green to be safe. So this launched in leggings, sports bras, and long sleeve crop tops, no shorts. So let's go ahead and get into the try on. A major thank you to Gymshark for sending these pieces out my way to review and for sponsoring today's video. And a huge thank you to you guys if you do shop these launches through my Gymshark link. It really helps this channel out a lot and I cannot thank you enough. Always message me if you do so I can personally thank you. And Gymshark, in case you don't know, is a pillar on this channel. So definitely subscribe so you do not miss out. Okay, so which one should we check out first? Is it any mini my fleck? We have got to start with my favorite color, the coconut white, am I right? I feel like I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> I have to say right off the bat, this is pretty sheer. <laughs> I'm wearing black undies underneath. You can see it. If you think you want this color, you best wear nude underwear, girlfriend. Believe it. So let's start with these leggings. Nothing has changed since the last launch in terms of material and fit. Everything is pretty much the same, just new colors. So I'm not gonna really go ham on this review because I already reviewed it. So if you're a lover of the nudes like me, definitely check this set out. If it's a little too much white for you, <laughs> then I would suggest any of the biscotti brown colors that you may have from Gymshark. That biscotti brown, I'll tell you something, it, there's speckles of biscotti ground in here. Ground? brown if you remember the energy seamless biscotti brown that came out you could totally mix with that the older adapt fleck what do you guys think of the adapt bra do you love it do you hate it it is that two layer look 
which I personally think is cool. It's definitely different from any other sports bra I've seen. I like how underneath is straight marl v-neck and then the overlay sits just right where it adds a little bit of that layered dimension look. I do really think that the straps are very, very comfortable, especially like compared to the training bras that could dig in after a while. These, not so much. They feel like there's a little bit of a let up, which is nice. It's actually not adjustable, believe it or not. You think with all these straps that it's adjustable? Oh. The one thing I don't like is that the tag always comes out. You gotta, you gotta have yourself a bay watching you at all times. Thank God for that glute seam because this would have been a major uni butt situation going on here. I still like the animal better. Like I still like the glutes on the animal better, but I like the look of the fleck better. <laughs> I like the fleck design. I like these fleck colors better. <sighs> Am I that picky? I don't know. This green color is very squat proof on me. So out of all three fleck colors, I would say most squat proof. Second most squat proof would be this pink color. And then the sheerest, no doubt, is this coconut white. Don't forget, they also do have the long sleeves. I don't know, man. I feel like these long sleeves, they're very restrictive on me. I feel like I need to start sizing up in these long sleeves. What do you think? Oh, I feel like getting them on and off is a little bit of a hassle from time to time. I don't really wear these as long sleeves because like I said, a little bit restrictive. I heat up so fast in this. So if you have a cold gym, maybe get this. But for me, the fact that I would sweat instantly in this like I am right now and then having to pull this off is just, a workout in itself. Keep in mind, if you don't know, the fleck and the animal are really pretty insulating. So, whew. when wearing this full animal blue set, I feel like I look like a bird's eye view of the ocean. When it comes to fitted shorts, my preference, I cannot have cinching, not even a little bit, because it will piss me off. So, with that being said, I now size up in fitted shorts. But with that being said, I do feel a little bit of extra room around here. I'm not gonna lie, but I would rather that than any a little bit of tightness. Like I will take a tiny extra room for that. I would definitely say if you're in between sizes for anything I show you in today's video, size up because there's a little bit of compression going on in everything. There's a little bit of that snugness. So in between, Size on up, girlfriend. The bra especially, this one, like dang, like when I put it on, I was like, whew, gotta stretch it out a little bit. Maybe pop a couple seams and it'll fit better. This bra does have removable bra pads. I love the high neck though. I said that in the butterfly video. Nice coverage when bending. Like this is something I feel secure when moving around in, that's for sure. The cut is very beautiful, gives a nice feminine look. I really do think they nailed it with this style of bra because not everybody wants the skinny, strappy, showy bras. I think if you're into more high intense workouts, maybe opt for the animal bra because there is just, there's a nice support level in this bra and the high neck really keeps things from popping out, if you know what I mean. Remember the flex one piece? I still have it. I don't know where it is, but I still have that. This reminds me of it. I don't know, I just, I see this as more of a stylish piece that I would wear with jeans. Like, I think it's super cute, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go all balls to the walls wearing this to the gym, unless it's zipped open, that's a little bit better. Having it all the way up, I feel like, <gasps> okay, so what do we think? Black and yellow. These yellow leggings, they are a little bit sheer. I work out in a black basement, so therefore I didn't give a shit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you can still see the black undies through it though, so nude underwear, you're gonna have to stock up on that. I do have to say, the yellow is my favorite though, out of all the colors. If you have any of this court blue, especially with the training collection, I know they launched a bunch in that department, you can mix this so well. They go beautifully. Even with the black I'm wearing now, I wanna do a little black and blue. These are the training loose fit shorts. I sized down to an extra small and I regretted it because now it rides up my gooch. In terms of sheerness, <laughs> yellow, like you guys thought, definitely the sheerest. Then I'd probably say blue and black. These, these are pretty squat proof, so you don't have any worries here. It's the yellow, that tricky yellow color that gets you. I would never have put snakes and zebras together. I would have never thought that. If I really had to guess, I would have went with like a peacock. I thought maybe, maybe this was a peacock look. I don't know. And since the Adapt Fleck and the Adapt Animal are so closely related in the family, they are like, 
nearly identical twins. It gets a little tricky to see which one you might like a little bit better. Let's elaborate a little bit more. In terms of leggings, you got the same length, to me, the same type of compression. Would you believe that these are practically the same material? I think they're off by 1%, if I do remember correctly. So I really am feeling the same type of material, thickness, stretch, you name it. It really is just based off of a couple things. Which of the prints do you like better? Both are really good at concealing sweat, especially the darker colors. Both equally as good as concealing cellulite. I think you really have to like a scrunch if you wanna go for the animal, okay? I think it does do a little something still. So therefore, I'm gonna say that it looks a little bit better on the peach, in my opinion. I do think the fleck has a better design. I just personally like this style a little bit better. I like the colors in this launch a lot better. <laughs> you do have a raised seam contour down the glutes in the middle, but I just feel like they're not as flattering on the glutes as the animal. Price points are the same. Again, they're super similar. I think the most difference is just in the pattern and the behind. It actually reminds me of the chalk collection. Do you remember that before this fleck came out? That chalk with that splattered look, look a little chalky, a little dusty. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. And who knows, maybe that's what it was inspired by, but I like it. I know some may say that there's a little more compression in one or the other. For me, I really do feel like it's pretty much the same. If there's any little bit of difference that I feel between the two, I would say I, I feel like there's a little more glute space in the animal than say the Adapt Fleck. I don't know, I feel like maybe there's a little more sandwiching in going on in these, so therefore maybe slightly more compressive, but not really enough to feel a huge difference for me. Okay, so we're looking at the lower part of the band to the gusset. Animal, we're looking at six inches. Adapt Marl, we're looking at exactly five and a half. So we have an extra half an inch in the animal, like I thought. I thought I felt more glute space, and yeah, you have an extra half inch here. So hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Again, if you need any more information on these collections, just check out my other reviews that I have. Again, I have over 100 dedicated Gymshark reviews. It's serious business here on this channel. I personally think Gymshark nailed it with the fleck colors. This is what I'm most excited about in all of this whole. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. I had a ton of fun chatting with my girls. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you in my next video.